Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Resonance Arcade. We are playing Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, and we're on part 6, I believe, 7, 6, 7, something like that. Uh, we've just well, killed... We've just killed the pain and... Uh, not the pain, the fear and the end. The fear was a very quick fight. The end took hours. Um, <laughs> but we've just come out of the battle, so I think now we're, we're, we're going to find his, his gun or something. Um, I can't remember do? what you get, because... I know that to get certain things off the bosses, you have to trank and trank defeat him. Um, and to, uh. to, with the end, you can get his gun, which is the Mosin Nagant um, uh, tranquilizer sniper rifle, which you also had in Metal Gear Solid Two. But if you if you hold him up a certain number of times, as I think Steel Lou was saying last time, they'd done some research on it. I know I've done it before. You hold him up and um, a couple of times, and you get his uh, camo as well. But since you didn't do that, I don't know what you'll get. It should be near the exit, so you're heading north of this direction, so not that way, basically. I was just going to see if there's anything in here. I don't think there will be, though, will there? You blew it up! You blew it up! Oh, there's, oh, no. here. there's supplies for you, but not for the enemy. That's fair. Oh, all right. That is That's... totally, totally fair. Yeah. I was noticing um, when I was watching the uh, videos on YouTube that the quality is quite low. So what I'm going to try and do at some point is upgrade my TV in here because I'm using a really small 17, uh, 14 inch or 15 inch um, 720p old TV. So I can only record in 720p because it's only output in 720p. So I'm uh, I want to try and get me 55 inch monster upstairs at some point because I don't use nice. it downstairs. Don't use it at all. Is it not already upstairs, Chris? Your 55 inch monster. It's 56 it inch, there. mate. Get it right. Facts or not at all. Six, no, 66. 56 it's inch. Not, all right. It's not 64. No. No. Okay. No. Um, right. Map. I think you end up going the right way. You're just going north, generally, out yeah. of here. Where the big X is, I think. Yeah. That way that was blocked off by the mysterious vines will now be not blocked off by the mysterious vines. Mysterious it's, vines. The we six saw and them. half second videos of the end, like walking up the fish tanks and stuff. We saw them disappear last time, didn't we? Did it actually happen in the cutscene? Did it? I, I, I don't remember. Lots of lots of goat-like creatures have died. Yeah, I'm just gonna oh, get, cool. me, get me stamina up while I can. Uh, food. Yeah, all, I was gonna say any food that you had on you last time will be gone off now, won't it? So. Yeah. How long does it take to go off then? Um, it must be a couple of days because right. we're doing these like once a week. But what was the last time we did actually recorded one of these? Was it at the weekend? It was on. Uh, I want to say. Was it Monday? Monday, Monday it? night. Yes, it was. Yeah. So it's, so it's clearly only a few days because we're less than a week away from our last play of this. <clears throat> it must oh. be like maybe three. Three days is usually a general crack for me, isn't it? Oh. Mm. To do but that, in but the jungle, it isn't in the jungle. It can be hours. <laughs> probably like yeah, probably like twenty minutes. <laughs> when when you're watching me play this game, it's hours. Yeah, well, it feels like hours. So right, will it go I'm off lost. real time? Do you reckon if you're playing it for long enough, or it must? Uh, what if, if you what if you if you had the game if you did like one session of the game, would it go yeah. off? Yeah, probably not because. It... I don't know how many hours we've put into it. Is it saying we're on about eight? I think it does, you know. I think I remember playing the game and going, what the hell is that? What's, what are them flies doing when I first played it? Mind you, there are a couple of uh, cutscenes in the game where there's time elapses as well, aren't there? Like when you meet Eve, mm. where he goes to sleep and wakes up in the morning, doesn't he? Ooh. So, oh, yeah. There's a difference. Yes, we're going up to Grozny Grad. So we're going up to the big sort of... The Shadow Moses type facility. What I like about this game is that there's a whole jungle section, but there's actually quite a large indoor sneaking section as well. It's easy to think of this game as the one that's all set outside, but there's like some pretty cool indoor sections as well. Mm. And that's kind of what I like about this one. It's got the, like a really good variety of environments. Like this, you can already say that the environments in this game are way better than the ones in Metal Gear Solid 2, which is basically an orange oil rig <laughs> for the yeah. whole game. Brilliant. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Does it continue to work the trap? Don't know. Let's see. There's another one sure coming. Where. Was that a little frog that was on the floor as well? Yeah, I'm just uh, seeing there? if this guy can be coaxed into it just to see. No, blatantly not. Yeah, well. Oh, another froggy. Yep. 
You've missed the other like 30 that have been already. Yeah, you might as well not bother. <laughs> yeah, so I'll try and point them out if I can see them, but there's, there's, there's a chase section at the end of the game, and there's, they have to shoot keratin frogs, which is what those things are called, as you're on the motorbike chase, and it's like, if you were to do it, in, I don't think anybody could physically do it in one go. You I have think to if you really had a mouse and keyboard, you could. Is this Maybe. the ladder? When we get to, yeah, this is the ladder. I'll listen to it. I'm not sure it. if this is here. Like, it kind of makes sense for this because you're going up, and when you get to the top of this ladder, you're basically gone up into the mountains, so it kind of makes sense that you go a long way. But I don't know if an elevator could have been used instead. <laughs> like, I don't this really must be get. must knackering. Jesus. Yeah, it would, it would fucking destroy it, Can you hear what's going on in the background, though? No? Listen. It's kind of the music, the theme's oh, coming yeah, in yeah. very, very, very gradually. It's just a singer, isn't it, actually? I think it's just a cappella. Yeah, I think it kicks off as you get to the top, doesn't it? Maybe. I don't think so. Is this symbolic of him climbing above the. Uh... Climbing know. out of the jungle and into the mountains and something. Rising up above it all. I don't, I really don't know. Who what the it... fuck was this ladder for? Who, who, literally, who could climb this ladder apart from Snake? Yeah, this is what I'm thinking, you, like, if you made this facility, it'd be like, can we put a lift in here? <laughs> no. Ladder will do, thanks, what? Well, what about a, a staircase then, like a spiral staircase? No, a ladder! I said a ladder! <laughs> like, <laughs> I've already decided look, this. Look at his stamina, <laughs> just flying down as well. I'm going to empty my backpack while I'm at it. Just, just throw it all down the ladder. Get yeah, some, some people are freaked out by the ladders in the, the loft. The what? There's some people who are freaked out by the ladders into the loft. <laughs> yeah. Well, because uh, whenever, you, whenever you see films, whenever they go up into the loft, something bad happens to them, doesn't it? Or they see something, or they well, find no, out real, a, real a people secret just, from their past. <laughs> real people who just they, they, they won't go above a couple of steps on a ladder. That's strange. I always feel it depends on the quality of the ladder. I've been up a few ladders and you start going jiggity jiggity and you're like, right, I don't like this. <laughs> the ones that are attached to a wall, it's slightly different, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I don't have a problem with ladders, to be honest. I think I'd have a problem with this ladder. Not because yeah. of how high I am, just because of how fucking knackered it'd be. Yeah, I'd have a problem when I ran out of strength and fell off. <laughs> that yeah. would be a problem for me. Hey. Get to the top. Have a sit down. No, I'm going to keep running because I'm Snake. Fuck you. Cheers to... <laughs> Just a rat off the edge. I just eat a rat. I'll, be, I'll feel good again. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's there for. It probably is what he's there for, pretty much. Now then, I believe the good camo you can get for this bit is anything that's like orange sand coloured. Because I think I think when you come out of here, you're in the, uh, the sort of rocky mountain bit. Is there a use for every every piece of camo in, in the game? Not the one. <laughs> Is there a, like a specific, specific use for every piece of camo? There's, there's certain really specific areas. Like you know that bit at the beginning, uh, near the beginning, where he had to take out all those soldiers in the um, that dilapidated ruin where Sokolov was. And it was like red yeah. brick walls. Yeah. You've got one that's like red and black sort of squares, and that's handy for that environment. So kind of, yeah. Some Surprise. of them are really specific. Like I believe, uh, what if you did you get Ocelot's camo or not? I can't remember if you did. I don't think so. No. No. I think you can only get the bad the enemy's camo if you trank them. But also lots of camo is great for this area, but you don't have it, so. Just anything that's orangey. Because there are bad guys locking around here and some know, of them I'm, are that long range. I'm taking everything what? in as um I'm trying desperately to kinda look at environments and look at models in games to see how you know, high quality games, to see how how high fidelity they actually are, how many verts they've got and how how in, you know? Because I'm looking at designing things myself, or getting the team to design things, and uh, it's a lot of them are surprisingly low quality. Even in like the even these, I know these are older games, but even in the more recent games, a lot of them are a lot of its textures and things that make things look nicer yeah. and look prettier. We, while I knew that, I didn't know how much model you know mesh work it actually. If you needs. look at um, if you look at a Blizzard game, you'll see that very um, very obviously because they. Do wonders with low poly models. It's all in yeah. the effects and the textures and stuff on Blizzard games. One game, actually, even if even though we've talked about this game and said that it's not overwhelmed any of us, and I've like you, Lewis, kind of stopped playing it. But uh, Far Cry Four, um, 
well, I've, I've played the PS4 version. I'm guessing the PC version probably looks even better than that, the high-end PC version. But they had a really, with some of their stone carvings and that, they actually look like those are very, very, like the, they're very smooth. You know how some cir- like smooth and circular objects, you can still see that sort of octagonal shape to them, even in really yeah. high-end graphic games. Mm. The ones in that actually genuinely look quite smooth. Uh, you know, some of the statues and stuff that you encounter are really nicely rendered. Yeah, and that's I think, quite I think... high-end, like. Well, that game in general is probably one of the best-looking games I've seen. I've got to be honest; uh, it's an unbelievably good-looking game. It's an incredibly good-looking game, yeah. Um, when you when you first um, when you first get brought to the palace at the start, and there's the, the shafts of light coming through the, the windows and everything, mm. that's gorgeous. Yes. So I don't know how they do it. I mean, obviously, when you're look, talking about a game like that, you've got Ubisoft, and their development teams are massive. Their budgets are ridiculous, and it's like, well, you know, there you go. Mm. I think it's um, probably some kind of adaptive stuff going on to make it so it looks smooth. Mm. But the, the, you know, if if you start to, it's like if you watch a behind-the-scenes thing of a movie, you start to see all of the cheats that they did, and then when yeah. you watch the movie again, you notice it. I think if you saw the way that they did it, you'd then realise how they did it and the magic would be broken. So to speak. See, I kind of, I kind of flick both ways with that. I <laughs> like to think that I'm, I'm Sorry. sort of quite. When, when I like something, I'm actually quite willing to give it a lot of suspension and disbelief more than it probably should have. Like, I've watched it, obviously, on the Lord of the Rings DVDs. They've got feature-length documentaries like that are nearly as long as the film about the making of. Yeah, yeah. And I've watched all that stuff, and I know all that stuff. And I can still watch those films and totally get engrossed in it. Yeah. Because I'm able to switch off. Oh. For the oh, sake of something that I enjoy, I'm able to switch off the more analytical part of my brain to just enjoy... The, you know the emotional ride you know yeah i think i'm the same as you I, I do i love to see how things are done and it doesn't spoil it for me at all yeah so like my mate um i used to talk about my mate uh, alex who was a friend of mine and chris is i think you probably met him because he was at the wedding mm. um we talk about like uh, uh voice actors for stuff like feature armor and the simpsons and i was talking about billy west who voices fry and uh, the professor and all that, and I was like, "Oh, well, you look at him; it's really weird." And Alex is like, "I don't want to look at him. It's like it'll break the illusion. I'd, I'd rather not know what he, what the guy who does all those voices looks like." Whereas <laughs> I'm like, "No, I want to know what he looks like. That makes it cooler to me knowing." So everyone's different with that sort of stuff, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit weird when you see the um, the woman who voices Bart Simpson. That's strange. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Nancy Cartwright, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she does loads the of fuck? like lo- lo- loads flying of dudes now. Oh. Yeah, I know. They're back. They've already been in. Yeah, there's some good caves. Talking about the actual game, um, in some of these little alcoves, there are little crawly cavey bits you can use. But what you might have noticed is that the helicopter's not flying around here because you blew it up. If you didn't have, if you hadn't done that, you'd be now having a helicopter flying around after you nice. as well. So yeah, there's that. We did one good thing in this game so far. <laughs> <laughs> we planned ahead for that one eventuality. Oh, bastard! Did you see something? What? As if how uh, these guys should definitely Run! see you there you go <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell oh you're in trouble here mate quick throw a snake at him I think you might have to just hide in the little crawly space yeah beep, beep, I realise that reversing beep 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 beep, beep. <laughs> Someone at work um, we was talking about Metal Gear Solid and I mentioned this um, and they've been saying SNAKE! SNAKE! Like yep. for two days solid. Disinfected and bandage. Two days Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> God damn, I'll get my coat. <laughs> <laughs> it's that, it's a cut. Yeah, that's one of those like... Yeah, use a almost... knife on a cut, dickhead. Yeah, that's what I do. I've got a cut. I'll just put a knife in it and cut it some more. <laughs> cut it in the opposite direction as well. Just yeah, like, yeah. Make joke. it like a nice little pattern. <laughs> yeah, the whole snake snake thing, it's such a like... It's like totemic to the franchise, I would say. It's like something that everybody associates with it. It's not a great place to hide this. There's not much room at all. And plus they're throwing grenades well. in every ten seconds. Yeah, but you're out of the grenade mate. blast radius, so... Yeah. I wish we had hovering platforms. You know, that'd be nice, but we just don't. And we certainly did not have to be 1964, either. 
No, not options. Although, but you know that you know that um, that jetpack that was in one of the Bond movies, I think Thunderball or something. Yes, yeah. Apparently, yeah. that that kind of does work. It's just it does, it, yeah. But it's for about twenty seconds, so it's crap. Like, yeah, the, the Bond movies uh, have always used things like in the movie, which are like currently in development. So some the of them are totally wasn't... not, though. Well, yeah, like, some of them are not. Like the, 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 the a... super magnets and stuff like that, they can deflect bullets. Yeah, doesn't he have a stealth car in one of them as well? Yeah, is that, uh, is that in Dine of the Day? That really was daft. That film, anyway. There are some, there are mostly daft things, but there are occasionally things in, in quite a lot of the Bond movies are real things. But the like the jetpack, obviously, you, you need yeah. to be highly skilled. It only works for twenty seconds. They used to, well, they, yeah, I think in the older ones as well, they, it was they sort of stuck to that more. In the newer ones, when it got to the Pierce Brosnan and Roger Moore, it kind of went a bit more ridiculous. But that was sci-fi, Sean, wasn't it? The Sean Connery stuff was a bit more like this watch has got a garrot wire in it, and I was like, that seems like a pretty legitimate spy <laughs> thing to have. <laughs> pretty grim, but you know, does the job. I'm sure that's in one of the Bond films. He has a garrot wire in his watch. He does, yeah, yeah. I took Sorry. his breath away. Or oh, some yeah. of that when he Screen saver came on. <laughs> Dodgy line. Anyway, back to Metal Gear. We've already said a lot about this game, and there's not much you can say when it's just hiding in a cave. So no, no. It's a natural going to wander into other territories like James Sticks, Bond. Sticks, Nabba. He's still there. Yeah. Can you... Can... Is I think you might have to. I think you might have to grab that guy and pull him into there. Like, if you go up and do a little freeze. Oh god, he's facing away from the tunnel. So he just had a big fight inside this tunnel, and now he's going to stand with his back to it. Well, I guess I better watch out here. <laughs> <laughs> is he thinking statistically? Like, statistically, there's more outside than there is inside. So therefore, Snake must <laughs> be outside. <laughs> I yep. like it. That's how they train the soldiers. <laughs> Freeze. Freeze. Ah. Now then, if you grab this guy, which is hold circle uh, when you're it's not moving, coming. there's another guy coming, so you're going to want to do it pretty quick. Shit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what a you load of tits. I think um. he shot him, but it wasn't a headshot. But because there's other guys out there, as soon as that guy falls unconscious, they'll wake him up anyway. Oh, the alarms have gone off. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. Oh, that's not what you want to see, is it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, shit. That was so right decent. in your face. <laughs> Two grenades. <laughs> He's caught in his mouth. This is shittest place on the planet. Quick kicking people in the corridor. Yeah, do you think maybe it might just be worth running it like you do every other section of the game? <laughs> just fuck it. What are you trying to say? Gonna, gonna be here all day, aren't we? Either way. Ouch. This episode is called Episode 6 Cave. <laughs> cave crawl space. <laughs> An arrow. Hexagon of Doom. Yeah. Fucking hell, injures. Injury. You just had three grenades thrown at you. Yeah, it's pretty surprisingly well, I'd say, considering. <laughs> Are you going to burn? Yep. You've not got your arms and legs blown off like you probably would have done. So unrealistic computer games, aren't they? Do you know what? That is one thing, and I know this is going to sound really morbid and unpleasant, but I wish that was something that was in more computer games, that explosions actually had the effect of explosions on people. Like, if you throw a grenade at a person, it doesn't just make them go, ah, and sort of fly back. It kind of does more stuff than that. The main thing the grenades do is fill you with shrapnel. They're not even, yeah. that, they're not even that explosive, really. They just shred you. Yeah, they just, yeah. Yeah, they just, just fill you with bits of metal. We've got a death coming up, guys. Better. Yeah. Run! Actually, do you know what game does that well? Just to just to just suck its dick a little bit more. The Last of Us has uh, nail bombs in that, and they really do act like shrapnel grenades. Like they tear shit up right. in a very uh, unpleasant but awesome way. But not a lot of games do that. And I think that and that's also a movies thing. Like movies have made us think that that's how grenades work. You go, ah, oh, jump in the air a bit, and then you yeah. lie down dead. And it's like you don't. I don't think that's what. Just, just concussion grenades. It's just, just throw things away from them. It just, just boom, boom, big yeah. sound, uh, wind grenades, basically. Yeah. Is what they are. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sound and wind grenades. <laughs> <clears throat> Which obviously make, kind of makes sense in movies like you can't, re, you know, to realistically shred everyone's legs in every grenade that gets thrown in an Arnie film would probably take a lot of um, body casts and and makeup and stuff, but it would look cool. It so. wouldn't. It wouldn't really even. It, it wouldn't. I don't think it'd show up well on on screen. Like no, probably the not. The actual real effects of grenades. Well, be gun, grim. well, gun gun um, gunshots and gunfire wounds don't show up. Like, have you ever seen any real footage of any soldiers, any conflicts, or anybody that you might have unfortunately seen getting shot on camera? It does not look like it looks like in films. No. Not even th- close. There was a thing on QI, actually, a um, few weeks back, which uh, was really interesting. It says that um, people, when they get shot, people fall over or fall to the ground because they think they should, because they've seen it on TV and movies. Mm. In reality, when soldiers get shot in the middle of battles, they don't even realise, usually. No. And when they do you know, realise, then they'll, you know, then they'll drop down. It's kind of like you know when when, when a child gets get, get hurt and they don't start crying until someone, well, until they realise, until someone is for them. Do you know what I've started? Because I work in a restaurant um, and there's a lot of kids there, and I've noticed that's what kids do. They they'll fall over, and then they'll pick themselves up, and then they'll look around and see what the adults react like. Yeah. If the adults go, oh, then the kid starts crying. If the adults go, you're all right, aren't you? The kid usually goes, oh, I guess I am. It's yeah. that's like a really powerful psychological thing that children have that they they react in the way that they think they're supposed to to situations. Exactly. If, if an adult endorses, um, you know, negative crying behaviour, then that's exactly what they're going to do mm. to get the attention and to think that that's like the best way to go forward. So yeah, you know, parents the... don't don't go over the top when your kid falls over. Make it seem normal because it fucking is normal. Yeah. They're gonna they're kids. They're not aware of their bodies yet. They're gonna fall over and hurt themselves. And the, the fact if they just get on with it and don't cry like a little bitch, then they're gonna have a better <laughs> time in life in general, aren't they? Let's be honest. Oh, no one likes a solid wh- and parental advice. No one yeah. likes yeah. a whiny little bastard, do they? No, nobody <laughs> no likes one that. likes to be told how to raise the kids either, unfortunately. So I'm glad you're doing it without any kind of <laughs> debate going on with someone who's got kids. Yeah, <laughs> that is yeah. That is just another thing. You can't. Um, I don't like having to tell other p- people's children not to do things. I'm like, hey, why don't you be the parent since it's your child? <laughs> <laughs> Can you not run around bagging knives and forks together? It's quite disturbing, and you might hurt yourself. Just I mean, wanna... your parents probably should tell you this, but I'm going to tell you. I just want to point out that I should have spent the entire game doing exactly what I'm doing right now because there are people the all around, all over the place. And I'm not getting seen by them because I'm crawling. Look at that camo index, man. Yeah, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 on the move. That's pretty goddamn high. This bloke might see you there. You now, might I've always I... thought, because. <clears throat> right, in this game, I always find it's a little unfair that, like, if you want to get a no kill run, if you just tranquilize this guy, what's going to happen to him? To fall off down the mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, do, you think, do, you think gonna, do you think he's going to wake up with a headache? Nah, he's dead. So that does that count as a kill? I can't remember if it does or not. I'm pretty sure it does. Like, yeah, it will do. Which is unfair. It's, it's unfair, the same as that. Dishonored. It's like if you leave them around and they get eaten by rats, or you drop them in a canal like, by accident, yeah. they're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although some of that just gets attributed to chaos and not like, an actual kill for you, doesn't it? Sometimes. Yeah, no, same thing. Yeah, they're both. Actually, I don't know if they're both separate. I think they're separate because it's there's a chaos rating and then there's your kills. Like if you. Cause or like, if you directly summon rats to kill someone, yeah. But if you knock someone out, then rats happen to appear. I don't think that sometimes. Kill. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think that counts chaos. as your kill. No, I don't think it does. But then, obviously, in that game, the more your chaos goes up, then the more rats and stuff there are around. Yeah. We do talk about Dishonored a lot, don't we? We must quite like it. It's a like fantastic it. game. <laughs> Maybe we should do a playthrough of that or something. I don't know how good that would be. I'd be up for that. I'd, I'd be up for playing through that. There's a lot to talk about Shit. in that game as well. I think we've all played it enough to know the ins and outs of the levels as well, which are probably yeah. quite Shit off. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like it might not it might not be as inept as our Metal Gear Solid run through, should we say? <laughs> are you so close to the top as well? Oh. Yeah, that could be an interesting one to do because the, the, each level only takes like 20, 30 minutes as well. Yeah, they're actually quite good, quite well segmented, aren't they? Mm. Uh, so I, th- I believe that door that's right in front of you, I think you're heading through there in general. You might be able to just leg it through and go fuck it. Nope. No, that's a... 
<laughs> I, there's a, there's, it's a door that looks a bit like that. I just can't remember exactly where it is, but it's like a little, uh, uh, like a little hatch that you don't know where it goes, and then it leads into a tunnel to the next bit. Uh, <laughs> doesn't like yeah. that. It doesn't like the Russian Russians. No, Russian Russians are shit. There's a can of chicken Kiev. Yeah, we're trying. We could talk about this before, <laughs> weren't we? What's a Russian dish that would go in Russian <laughs> ration? I'm, I'm going to look it up. Traditional Russian cuisine. I bet there's probably some stuff that they've got that's absolutely like mush that you've never tried because it's not well known. Soups apparently. Uh, 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 something like vas and uh, <clears throat> or binya. What are they like? Chickeny, leaky, vegetable-y kind of soups. Yeah, Bots. they're full of full of um. Oh, Bosch. Obviously Bosch, yeah. Helicopter. Bosch. There's the helicopter. So there is still one helicopter, I guess. Come Maybe on. Maybe there are two if you could just drop them in on the other You've seen um, Lord of War, haven't you? I've seen what, sorry? Lord of War? I don't think so. With uh, Scott, Jared Leto and... Um, and... What's his name? No. Uh... I'm surprised you haven't seen it. Uh, when is it? Is it set? Nicholas uh, Cage. Wonderful. He's an arms dealer. He's an arms dealer. I've, I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. Fantastic film. Well, that, that features Bosch in anyway. Is that one of the good Nicholas Cage films? Then? It's a, it's a brilliant Nicholas Cage film. Cool. Highly recommend it. Does he deal arms with the Russians? I'm guessing. Is it relevant? Well, he's Ukrainian. Ah, he's, he's uh, Ukrainian. Yeah, they're American Ukrainian. Yeah, they do deal with Russians and stuff as well. Does he put on a dodgy accent? No, no, he's American. He's American Ukrainian. All right, okay. Just, I, I mean, I really like Nicolas Cage, but he does do some fucking shit. Apparently, he got the reason he does so many crap films is because he got in trouble with the um, like the Inland Revenue. Uh, so I don't know if that's to do with him doing some dodgy, but he basically is actually in debt to the IRS, I believe. Right. That's kind of why he does every single film that drops in his lap. Which is a shame because he's genuinely a talented bloke. Like, he's done some great movies over he, his time. Yeah, he needs to be more selective about his roles, doesn't he? Because he, he has a very certain yeah. role the, that he fits very well. The last film that I saw him in that I thought was really great was Kick-Ass, but I'm sure he's done a couple of good ones since then as well. I've but I have not seen them. First Kick-Ass is a really good movie, like I'd recommend it. It's very funny, but quite... It's quite sort of relatable. It sort of shows a bit more of the realistic take of what would happen if you were dressing up like a superhero. But it's also quite silly at the same time, but it's very enjoyable. Nicolas Cage is great in it. Ah, I think this might be the one. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, Lord of War, excellent movie. Well worth watching. You just check your map a second, just to see if uh, there's any clues as to where you're Ganon. Oh. Ah, top. Was well, doesn't really is help. Exalt this, yeah, destination. Yeah. The... What's wrong? Yeah. It's a weird place for trenches up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a strange level. What's it meant to be up here? Is this I think some kind of just... facility? Up here? <laughs> It's just like the oak. Well, the, when you go up to the to the when you look at Grossy Ground, which is the facility, it's back down ahead. It's just like a mountain Overwatch position almost. Like this is mountains here, and then the actual base is back down the bottom, the other side of the of the hill or the mountain, however big it is. Like, it's like well, it's kind of just levels for levels' sake. It doesn't really make any strategic sense, I would say. I, don't I think know. I might be going the wrong way. I might be going back on myself here. It's possible. Got plenty of time anyway. Time to kill. Yeah, it no, reminds me very much of Half Life. This, the you know, the bit when you're on the the surface tension section. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, no, hang on. Is it where you're in the the canyons? Yeah. And you're on the side of the cliff. Yeah, that's not surface tension. That's something else. Is that Half Life One or Two? It's Half Life One. Yeah, because there's a section where the, you, you, you're going along the ledge of a cliff and there's like uh, harriers fly past, I think it is, or... Yeah, yeah. That's where, you, fight fight, you, where you find the combo, that's where you fight the combine for the first time. Tell you what, have you, play, have you, have you played Black Mesa Source? 
Not yet, no, I've got it. Downloaded it a that while back. Does that section really, really well? I mean, the is whole that... thing's done really well. It's like is a that... remake of Half Life 1 done in the Source yeah. Engine. So it's basically like an HD, you know, an overhaul, isn't it, of the graphics? Yeah. And it... but, but the levels are laid out slightly differently as well. It's not just like the same thing over and over. It's, uh, it's really nicely done. The only problem is it doesn't have the last alien world part of it. It ends at the uh, the bit where you teleport to Zev. You know, it's strange how I, I genuinely really don't like that in that in cinema, remakes and reboots and stuff really piss me off because they usually just end up being crap. And it also displays a total lack of idea. For some reason, when they talk about remaking and remastering old games, I'm like, fucking hell yeah, it's... like do it. Mm. Fuck's sake. I don't know what it is because I, I really, really like the Resident Evil remake. Like They took the first game and they reworked it and kept it all the stuff you remember updated the graphics but also added in new gameplay elements yeah and new, new bits of levels so that it wasn't just the same game is that and the one was... that's on steam at the moment then? <clears throat> yeah it's the one that's just been released multi-platform like right. hd I might have which was originally that. I a game the original. oh nice <laughs> so is it is it the gamecube version basically yeah to all the platforms? Right. which is which is a genuinely great like horror experience it's really really, <laughs> really atmospheric <laughs> yeah take that Stealth! Stealth! I just said this is stealth, isn't it? <laughs> Don't give me a fucking big gun then if you want stealth. <laughs> I, I suppose yeah. it's a certain class of stealth. If everyone is dead, then there's no one there to see yet. Yeah. Is that yeah. kind of stealth? You can sneak past a lot of corpses pretty easily. <laughs> another one. Another one. Oh, they better not be respawning helicopters. Missile! Shot it oh. out of the oh, air. Oh, that. I didn't shoot that one out of the air though, did I? Oh. Oh shit. Leg it! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I've, oh! I've, I've actually died. Wow. 65. <sighs> yeah, we've talked before about how this game, it's it's a lot more punishing on the stealth wise, but it doesn't seem to be as punishing on your health. Like, you've only died four times in this game, and one of them was just a, a daft mistake at the beginning. So three proper deaths, really. Which is weird because in the other games, it's you know, obviously dying seems to be a lot easier. I have yeah. heard from people that they feel, they feel like the, the first one, especially, was really hard. I thought the first one was really hard when I played it. So did I. I, I, I first, find uh, that easier though than this one, I think now. But generally, you've I got the, the radar, haven't you? You can kind of you can get, there's like a binary system of being being seen or not being seen. Whereas in this, you've been seen by guys that you didn't even know where they were. Like, you've been like, oh, that who spotted me? That's happened to you quite a lot. Yeah. So, like, the enemy awareness in this game is ramped up hugely compared to other installments. And I'm not used to playing Metal Gear games like that. I mean, even mm. in Metal Gear Solid 4, you've got a better detection system than this, but... Yeah, the feedback on how you get detected is much better in Metal Gear Solid 4. It's like a threat ring, which... It, it's very much an in-game... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a HUD element, which mm. it, it takes away from the. You can't, you know, it's, you're not sensing it. The game's just telling you when it's happening. But at the same time, in this game, it's way too easy to get seen without you knowing where it's even coming from. Like, enemies can see you that you can't see, and that kind of feels a bit. Uh, how do you counter that? Unless you already know the enemy's um, locations before you even play. Which More is realistic, the, isn't it? Which is, I guess, the, some of the is, things we're trying to go for. It I, is. When we were talking about stealth mechanics before in uh, Deus Ex, it kind of works like that in that as well. So you've just got to be aware of your surroundings and. Ah, there we go. You well, I knew you could. I know you could. Um, you hold R1 and then you can use R2 and R and L2 to kind of go left and right, which is going to help me a bit. I'm only nearly at the end. <laughs> yeah. Still handy though. So you're going the right way here, Chris? I've no idea. I'm just going to keep going Can in the holes. Just keep going up. <laughs> Get in there, then. Oh, this looks good. A bit of ointment in the suture kit. Will those helicopters keep me spawning and all? Um, well, I died, I didn't I, so... I, I'm sure that blowing that one up earlier on has an effect. It could be that... I don't know. Because you blew one up, then another one appeared straight afterwards. So I'm wondering. Yeah, if no, there was two. There was two around anyway. Right. It, they shouldn't really. Re I think helicopters is one thing that should not respawn infinitely. <laughs> it's ridiculous if they do. I don't think they do. I think you just 
talking at your bum. Right. I think it's over there, isn't it? It's so, yeah, you want to go over that way, which uh, is where the X marks the spot and all that. That's another very gamey thing. That wall next to you there is scalable by Snake. Like, a, a fucking grown man should be able to climb up there. But you have to walk all the way around. Such a common game thing that I mean, I know it's like a simulation, it's not real life, but it, it's instant immersion breaking when you're like, well, I could easily haul myself up there. Like, why can't this badass fucking hero guy that I'm playing as not do it? Yeah, I've always thought like that. It's like in, when you play Doom and there's a, there's a ledge that's taller than your knees and you can't yeah. get up it. You're like, are you fucking kidding me? Space Marine can't jump. Yeah. Can't climb up or think something higher than his knees. Is there no jump in Doom at all? Nope. I've not ever played the first one, I don't think. Not, not, in, not in the original. In some of the source ports have added jumping. Mm. Well, it was back in the really olden days then, wasn't it? Well, the thing is, Hexen, which is based on the same engine, you can jump. It was just there was a mechanic that wasn't included for just whatever reason. But it's not like out of the realms of possibility of the engine. Yeah. Get there him. we go. That's Fucking hell, that was a bit of an effort, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what that bit did remind me of, actually, thinking about it in retrospect. Do you remember, do you remember the, the night time level in the original Halo, the, um, when you're going up to the ship for the first time? And you, the, the big battle at the end, you've got to fight on the gravity pad. Yeah, it sounds familiar, yeah. And you're kind of cl cl calling through loads of kind of deserty, canyony rock sort of stuff. Hello. Oh, oh, See her again, get the boobs out for fun. Got her baps out. Yep. That's, those are big pants she's wearing. It's so her jumpsuit, mate. like, folded down. You look like you could use some rest. <laughs> oh, smooth. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. He found out. If he no, he's just sadistic. Hobby. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. Obviously. Scum. Dictionary definition. It's in twang a bra strap. <laughs> Point! She just There's another one for you. <laughs> no. I'm a sadist too. <laughs> Wanna be my like, bottom? Yeah, it's like, you think he's bad. <laughs> then nothing. <laughs> he's having a good old look there, isn't he? That, he's not looking at scars though, he's looking at tits. He's That's a professional. <laughs> Have we all told... seen Lethal Weapon, uh, Lethal Weapon Three, where they, where Riggs and uh, you get this kind of uh, Mrs. Really Mrs. To be Riggs <laughs> compare scars and then knock it off? Well, too bad. Uh, and they're like, they're really? talking about, they're talking about wounds, and she's like, "Oh, I got shot in the shoulder." And he's like, "Oh, look at this on my leg." And then they end up both taking their clothes off and shagging and that. Do you know. you've got to get reckon she's modelled after Daryl Hannah? Uh, she like doesn't have a square enough jaw for that. Khrushchev. His forces are on their way here. She could be a little bit, a little bit of Daryl Hannah. Mm, L was it L Driver? She played in Kill Bill. Yeah, Ellie Driver. Played played it brilliantly as well. Oh, she, she, the other film it. I saw her in was like Splash, where she played it. Oh, hello, the I'm mermaid. mermaid. <laughs> yeah, and she's like <laughs> super bitch from hell in Kill Bill. Better take. Yeah, she's great in Kill Bill. Actually, she is. She is awesome. I, knew, I watched that quite recently as well. I watched it the other week. Yeah, man. Take this too. What is it? Uh, well, I don't know if she's muddled off. Food of the Noodles. A well meal for the space food meal. from the future. <laughs> it's good to eat some real food once in a Those are some fucking huge packets of noodles. <laughs> Look at it with your R1. No, you're not, you're not paying attention. You. Sorry. It's all right. Like I always just, whenever the R1 prop comes up, I just want to press it. I'm not, I'm not looking at it. I'm looking at the, what's going on in the subtitles and... Do you know kiss, exactly if you I kissed you, it, you would taste like a wild beast, was it? Yeah. Mm -mm, wild beast. He hasn't brushed your teeth in a while, put it that way. Yeah. He's been well, eating he's been crabs eat and rats. Yeah, and snakes and, <laughs> and markers. <laughs> Which wild beast would you like me to taste like? Because I've got a ration for everything in here. Yeah, I was going to say, I can simulate any flavour you want. <laughs> Got a rabbit, got a flying squirrel, got it all, mate. <laughs> Tree frog. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> Yesterday I feasted on a tree frog, as the song God. says. <laughs> it's just it were eat lush. <laughs> Not again. Snake, it's our song! <laughs> you need to be Colonel Class to get in. Colonel Class. Colonel Class? Look at this it's like, yeah, do you know what ranks are, mate? You know what ranks <laughs> are? Why are you repeating what I'm saying? You've heard of ranks before. You're in the military, aren't you? Look, look at that thumb. How do I do that? Square. <sighs> oh, yeah, this is the little Raiden uh, guy. He's called Raikov. You look yeah. And he's like that. So, so uh, Volgin, I don't know if they've really talked about so it, but Volgin's like something. bisexual. He's like having an, an abusive sex relationship with Eva, but he's also shagging this guy as well. He's so a strange he, old man. He does look so. a lot like Raiden. He's given that weird sort of look to the camera. Is, is he meant to? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a little it's a little bit of fan service because you get to go in there. Well, you can either knock him out or kill him. Speaking of fan service, have you played Ground Zeroes yet, Sam? No, do you know why I haven't played it yet? Because to all intents and purposes, it is a glorified demo and I'm like, are they going to release it with the Phantom Pain? Because I'm thinking when the Phantom Pain comes out, Don't they know. should release it with it. They might, I might just do. get it both together. Yeah, well, I don't know I wait it. for it. It's not fantastic. It's. That's okay. I mean, I still haven't finished it. I'll be honest. Yeah, I, well, I, I, I want to play the full game. You know? I watched the zero punctuation but review of that, and that's like what he said as well. That it was just a glorified demo. Delicate. Yeah. Well, we knew that. Everyone knew everybody. that. He, everyone who bought it knew that. But the, what, what, what I don't see what the problem it, is. If you're willing to what? pay thirty quid or forty quid or whatever the for fact, a demo, the then that's your that's your prerogative. It's no one else's business. I think the problem is is that Konami. Wait a minute willing to put out a demo and charge money for it. What? Whereas the previous Metal Gear demos came free. You, you, you as the consumer, it's your responsibility. It's not It's not Konami's. It's up to Konami yeah, if they want to charge it. for that. And I haven't bought it. Which yeah. is annoying because I would happily want to support the Metal Gear Solid franchise because I think it's great, but I don't want to support the business practice of them selling a demo for 20 quid or how much it is. So, you, all you, the, you don't all wait the, for it in a sale, Chris? No, I got, I got, I got my PS4 because it came out because I wanted to play a new Metal Gear. Does it have to be? And it's not on PC, is it yet? It's no. just console Great. exclusive. I think it's unlikely it'll be on PC for a while, if if at all. Mm. You bet. But, uh, yeah, all the reviews of it have said the same thing. They said what game, what the stuff that is there is great. Like even Zero Punctuation, who has slated Metal Gear before, said I actually enjoyed playing the bit. I just think it's shouldn't be charged for it. Angry Joe did a big review about it as well. Um, and he was like, the game is amazing. I can't... If it was just based on the gameplay and my experience of that, I'd give it a 10 out of 10, but the price is a factor, so I'm giving it a 5 because it's ridiculously expensive for what it is. Hmm. There you go. You know. Anyway. I bet you if it was free, he would... I bet he... What? Is this girl good or bad? Well... Yeah, uh, well, like, exactly. She's she's a bit like Ocelot. She's she's a triple quadruple mega really? undercover. She's under everyone's that? cover. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if you get my meaning. <laughs> she's probably trying it's to seduce him, isn't she? Yeah. Even with you. Oh, is this the bit when they talk when they talk about? Oh, we've already done it, and we talked over it. She asks him yeah. what what it is that he feels for the boss, and he's like. Oh, it's different, you know. She's like, "Oh, do you love her?" It's like I don't. It's not like love and hate. It's different than that. He's like, "We lived and died together on the battlefield and all this kind of shit." I quite like that little bit. Oh, just snakes are having this. I have a mission. Not this time. I like frogs. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? We're What's wrong? going just... to get murdered if we get found, and it's going to be quite embarrassing getting murdered while we're naked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to die on a job, love, but no. come on, let's go. And zip yourself up, for fuck's sake. Yeah, tactical bra action. Oh, she's going to leave it open, is she? There's Grosny Grand and the surrounding area. See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid and they know there's a spy. Ah, oh, because this is like, got I've got a feeling there's even more cutscene after this as well, because you, you sort of get your binoculars out and have a look down at Grosny Ground and then you see Volgan being an arsehole to everybody. Whee! 
That's a good way to get down mountains. What? what? Kids. Kids. You just that. saw what she did earlier, didn't you? She drove up Ocelot's face. Yeah. You forget about that. <laughs> I, just, I don't get. understand how being really, really good on a motorbike means you can drive it off a cliff. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> you know. Yeah, one thing does not quite equal the other, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it does in uh, in sort of contrived narrative land. I guess so. Yeah. It's just mastery of the motorbike that you can basically <laughs> just fly it. What? I'm going to punch this barrel! So we've not seen this yet because we accidentally skipped over this cut scene, like the previous cutscene where Volga was doing this, but yeah, he's kind of got like lightning punchy powers. He's made the barrel wet itself. Mm, well, no, um, Otacon's in there. Yeah. All right. He's not. I don't have there. any more tears to shed. <laughs> Otacon's not even alive, alive at this point, I don't think. Nah, he's not in this game at all. <laughs> Granite. That's that old nice. drunk Russian guy we were talking to earlier. All right. He's dead. Did he talk? Didn't give him a chance. No. He died before I could get it out of him. Well, you're good at torturing then, aren't you, idiot? <laughs> Dick, <isn't he? laughs> Was it the spy then? Probably. No, do we? Because you killed him. Ah. Oh. Uh, uh, the old biofilm. The, the, the universal place to hide things in the 60s is your bloody foot. Yeah. That's another James Bond thing, isn't it? Like, there's that woman who's got the, the poison dart in her shoe, and she's like trying to kick him, like, eh! And that's one of the old James Bond films, I can't remember which one. I think that's the very first one, it's, it, 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 he's got the uh, thing in his, his heel, hasn't he? He's got like a Cuban heel with a stuff in it. I don't know what he's got in it, but I'm Backward sure Spies will Cuban heels. <laughs> I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell. You're just a big bully. Feeling sore about it's nuclear. It. What are you going to do? Report it to the authorities? This is war. I still need to fuck off with that cravat. Cold war. With yeah. And <laughs> it how, it's like it how many that cravat and fuck off with it. It's like how many douchey affectations can we throw at one character? So he's got a cravat, a beret, and a little stupid hand gesture that he does. Like you're pretty good. You'll see it later on. He's done it before, but he'll do it again. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. Oh, split screen. A single uh. man can only accomplish so much. No it's because the facial expressions really matter at the moment. <laughs> yeah, this is when they back in the time when they were sort of trying to do facial expressions in games, but they didn't really have that many to choose from. They're better in this game than they were in Metal Gear Solid 2, but they're still not exactly great. The boss! And there's Eva in disguise. The fear and the end. Quite like fallen. her in glasses. Mm. I quite like a lady in glasses. Mm. Such an angry man, isn't he? Yeah. Bah! Punch CIA things when I'm angry. Lightning punch! That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? Wasn't easy, mate. Took me hours. He's good. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. What is he after? Poncho and a horse. More than just soak him off. <laughs> yeah, man, she's fucking bad. Destroy the Shagahad and get its hands on your inheritance. The philosopher's legacy. <sighs> Not the philosopher's stone. Possible. The legacy. Yeah. It... Have we talked about the philosopher's legacy yet, or did? Not that I know of. Kill me as well. Uh, I don't know if they've explained what it is yet. It's basically it's a huge, a secret fund set up by the um, the Allied powers during World War Two, um, and the contents of where it's hidden is on some sort of microfilm that, that they're after as well. So there you go. Right. It's just a huge fortune. He wants it so that he can take over Russia with it, like, like by basically put, buying his way to power. You know, buying military forces or whatever else. That's a bit nicer than the usual, just oppressing everyone thing, isn't it? 
He's pretty. He's pretty bad. Dad. He's a pretty bad dude, Falcon. Like though, still. Yeah, but he still wants to buy it rather than just take it. I think he wants to buy the the hardware so he can just take it. <laughs> I mean, he's already got command of a little private army here, isn't he? God damn it, man. She's like, I wish I was riding a motorbike up your face now. <laughs> Make sure you polish them up properly. Style tip from the Ocelot. Yep, there's this little stupid hand gesture, which he does at every available opportunity. What a dick. He's he such is. a dick, isn't he? He's like he a, is a universal dick. dick. Yeah, he's almost like you almost want him to sort of when he speaks, grab a rose out of nowhere and just be, twir <laughs> just be twirling it around like a proper anime douchebag villain. <laughs> <laughs> so, ah, you got to go back the way you came. Uh, I think she did tell you where to go. It's through a little door <laughs> in one of the little um, trenches that you've already been in. It was locked before, yeah. Uh, I hate backtracking. It's not a lot of backtracking, although unfortunately, I think there are dudes in like armor suits with flamethrowers now, though. So does that? <clears throat> I should have it's blown all them things up, shouldn't I? Ah, eat a spider. That'll be good for you. Apparently, actually, some spiders are edible, aren't they? Like they eat um, giant tarantulas. They eat them in yeah, uh, South America. Is it they live? Yeah, they eat them all over, actually. But yeah, mainly South America. They eat stuff like um, kind of the you know the giant the, the Goliath spiders and stuff like that. Mm. As long as you don't eat the venom glands, yeah, uh, yeah. the rest of it's pretty much edible. Yeah. Well, I think they basically tear the abdomen off and eat the legs and stuff, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Tasty. Mm. Well, yeah, I like it when people like whenever the people eat stuff like that, they go, "Oh, it tastes like chicken," and you're like, "Eat some chicken, then." <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of chicken <laughs> around. Easier. What the fuck a is fine now? You eat the chicken. Like, <laughs> you, oh, here's a drumstick. Go KFC. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Why have you got to catch a deadly fucking spider? Like, just <laughs> eat chicken, you idiot. <laughs> uh, there, is, there is a scientific theory as to why everything tastes like chicken. Um, I can't actually remember it. I read it recently. I think it was in a, a Vandal Munro's book. Um, oh, is it? The, it's not that everything tastes like chicken. It's just that that's what we associate things with because it's a common flavour. Is that? I think it is. Yeah, something like that. It's like I, I'd have to. I, I shouldn't really have mentioned it because I can't remember the fact behind it. But yeah, there is there is theories behind why these unusual things tend to taste like chicken. Residence Arcade, where we discuss vaguely remembered. <laughs> oh, fuck in the second that I stand up. Yeah. Flame throws. Bad. Yeah. That's not good. Oh. Uh, but he, he rolled over, so it's alright. <laughs> what's really annoying is I can't remember exactly where he's supposed to go. It is a little doorway, somewhere that you've already been. This didn't work very well last time, Chris. So you Went well until he got shot by a rocket. A helicopter. Yeah, just go, 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 go. Ah! Yeah, the place that you go in is in one of the trenches, and you can't escape this whole area. The last bit alert, but I think it'll let you go. Nice. He kicked you into the hole. Nice. Are you on fire again? I am. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> just roll and put it out. Covered him near palm. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Lighting effects on the fire are quite nice. <laughs> yeah. Which since the fury is basically a big flamethrower man, then you're gonna see a lot more of that shortly. Ah, uh, so this is introducing you to the fact that you're on fire so that you can yeah, yeah. You deal with it. There is one of the camouflages is good at being flame resistant, but I'm not sure if it's the one you get from the fury. Just kind of annoying since you've already been it.
Да. I'm right underneath the destination. I should have, uh, is it on your map where you're supposed to go? Yeah. So I need to come out of here and go... This is saving you a lot of aggro, isn't it? Yeah, crawling. Well, crawling, yeah. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to play the game. But I'm just. A I, dick fe and I fear that if um if if we do do a dishonored uh, playthrough, then I, you'll see a lot of this because I, I tend to take my time through the areas. Yeah, I did as well when I played that. I I really I actually um like you were saying, I tended to sort of like not only just start taking out guards. I was sometimes obviously I know the levels now, but when I first played it. I would sort of skulk around and, and survey the situation before mm. taking the out as well. I think, that, that's um, I think that's probably why Chris is kind of struggling with the stealth because when you people watching, when you're recording something, you don't feel comfortable with taking your time, I guess. Yep. Would you say that's right, Chris? Uh, that, and as I said, I'm, I'm still convinced that the resolution and the you know the fact that I'm on a tiny telly and I can hardly hear things. I can, I'm t I've turned it up quite a bit this time, so I can hear things a bit better, and it's a bit oh, easier. I, I offered you a perfectly good excuse, and you took two. So screw you. <laughs> Fuck you, mum. <laughs> Not just you. Um, there's a lot of reasons, and I think you know the whole coming back to it once a week is is mm. quite difficult as well. Yeah, usually when you play a game, you're playing it in sessions which is quite close together, aren't they? Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of the best tactic to use on the on the Fury, and I think it's uh, it's generally to try and get you get with the sniper rifle because you want to keep your distance from him because his flamethrower has got a carry reach on it, and he also like rockets across the screen as well, like and brings massive trails of fire with him as he goes. Uh, so it can be quite a frustrating fight in that regard because when he sees you, he might just fly at you and, and knock you over, and you, that happens a lot. And you're just like, "Oh, come on!" I can't remember this one. I'll be honest, not not right now. It's it's kind of a cool looking fight, but it's not one of the more memorable. It's quite straightforward. Just shoot him until he dies. There's not a huge amount of cool or interesting tactics you can use in it. From what I remember. Well, uh, it's nearly two o'clock. I've got to do something. Oh, hang on. No, we might be all right, actually. What time did we start? About 12. Oh, no, sorry, 1, yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll keep going, it's all right. I, I thought I might have to stop, but I don't yet. Is this See, the Fury now? Yeah. See, if you, I mean, if you get him the first time, then fine, but maybe if you do have a, a, you know, a death or whatever. I don't think he's that hard to beat, personally. It's just... I don't fact, remember him. Fire so. everywhere. I've got past him and then got to Volgi. I got went into Groznygrad or whatever it is, and then I went uh, fought Volgin and then stopped playing the game last time. So I've nearly got to the point where I'm uh, lost. Sorry, then I, 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 I what, won't know anything. Sorry. The, the 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 boss arena here and the fact everything's on fire reminds me a lot of the end of um, Wolfenstein. What the new one or the old one? The new one. Do you remember the end boss fight? I didn't hear any of that because he's going 
at me at the moment. What did you say? I don't know if you've played it. Have you played all the way through Wolfenstein, the new one? No, not yet, no. Uh, right, well, it's a good thing you didn't hear it then. <laughs> Are you glad you've watched this, thus, Lou? Yeah, of course I am, yeah. I'm I know you're not keen on the game in terms of play you wouldn't want to play I it, I don't think. I wouldn't want to play it, but I like watching it. It's quite an experience, and it, like I say, it's full of colourful characters, <laughs> like this chap. Although one thing about this guy is, I quite like the concept of him, like he's on, he's a fury, he's on fire and all that, but his voice doesn't quite match it, like, I want someone who's just like, a quiet terrible, like, really sound furious, you know what I mean? But whatever. You need the guy from the, um, you need the guy from the old Spice Adverts, don't you? What's his name? Terry Crew. Uh, Terry Crew, yes. <laughs> Burn. So yeah, it's just running around these pillars and try to spot him and try to get a couple of hits on him. Ha! Oh, there we for go. Fuck's sake. Well done, Chris. Didn't realise there was something to fall down there. Ugh. Yeah, so at the back of the arena there's a big cliff. Don't fall off it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. You know. What do you mean, sorry? <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to tell you all this stuff. But... No, you're not. Well, the green thing is on the floor. Uh, they're actually uh, little mushrooms that you can stab, and they'll recharge your battery if you can believe that when you eat what? them. Fuck it, it doesn't make any sense, but yeah, there we go. Electric mushrooms. Hmm. Well, it's these. Oh, you did a bit of damage there. Yeah, did you get him a bit then, did you? I did. Knock the shitload off him. Good. Well, keep it up then. Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Oh, ah, you, you that, did, it, yeah. that, did, that did quite good damage. My flame suit is ripped. Why would you admit that? You wouldn't shout that out. Yeah. You would if you were a baddie in a game. Uh, I am okay. in pain now. <laughs> you, you have made me angry. I am nearly dead. Two more shots will destroy me. <laughs> No, don't hit my bright orange glowing weak point. <laughs> I said don't do that. <laughs> Jesus, you're phoning him, aren't you? Got a lovely AK-47s. This, this is one of those bosses that obviously is only hard when you try and tranquilize him, because I remember this guy being a pain in the bum, but I I always trank the bosses. I try to get as close to the middle front as I can. But you just you absolutely trans this guy. Fucking hell! Ooh. That fire isn't that damaging either, is it? It should probably be killing you instantly, but you know. Yeah, being engulfed in burning oh, yeah. napalm is usually <laughs> usually end your life, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's probably game over. I'm not an expert or anything, but probably <laughs> probably could fucking kill you. But then getting shot by one bullet would usually kill you as well. Yeah. So games, you know. Can't see him for all the bloody fire. Yeah, no, that's the difficult thing. There he there is. Because he, he started to leg it. Now this is oh. this this fight reminds me a little bit of the um, the Vulcan Raven fight in that he's got a powerful weapon and he's running around like awesome. corridors, but that was a shitload easier. This is the end of the Cobras. See, you sound that angry. You should sound angrier. You're the only one left. I bet the Japanese guy was like, "Skid <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> At least this guy got, has got a kind of slight reason to blow up at the end. <laughs> that he's on fire already. Yeah, well, yeah. you're going to see his face now, aren't you? I bet it's all burnt. No, you're not. All of the fire's going to absorb into his face. So is he made of fire? He must be. talk about the fact that he's like a... He's, uh, he was hey. an octopus. And he sort of got burnt up on re-entry or some shit. Oh, is that his face as he wearing a mask? I can't tell. Uh, no, it's... And that's his face. Oh no, he's wearing a mask. Oh dear. He's obviously gonna fly into the sky and explode. Yes. There we go. I think it's worse than that. I think you get, like, a big fiery face flying at you.
Ah, c'est bien. Ah Il est en backdraft maintenant, est-ce qu'il est Je ne suis pas sûr de ce que c'est. Oh Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's, that's realistic. What? He never questions any of this, but he questions all of the fucking laborious, boring stuff that people tell him, doesn't he? Colonel? So would you like him just be like, a big fiery face? <laughs> yeah. Just questioning the things that he's seen. <laughs> that would make it very funny. <laughs> Got all the stuff. Rewards for defeating a boss. Yeah, another bloody ladder. This one's not quite as bad as the other one. Grass the grad. I do like this level. I do like the Grass the grad in general. Yeah. Well, the, well, the what I've done of more... it anyway. It's got a bit more of a binary stealth system because you're basically hiding around boxes and corners. So you can kind of sneak past it, whereas in the jungle you're kind of vaguely in trees and grass, aren't you? So it's... it's like organic, yeah. Yeah, in some ways this is... It's not like I'm saying this is an easier stealth section, but it's a bit more straightforward than the other sections in the game. But it is still tricky. It's still tricky. <laughs> like, anyone want to take bets whether Chris is going to get to Grizzly Grad? Undetected. <laughs> Just look a bit do, like do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to try it then? Do you want to uh, give us an extra tenner if I get in the building in Grosdegrad without without getting detected? Go on then. I'm going to get detected the second the cutscene stops. You know that, don't you? That was weird. That seemed like it was going to gear up for a codec call, then just didn't. But that's fine. Crawling. Splitter! Yeah, I've updated the death counter now so that uh, it reflects the bonus. Loose. Remember that the, the, the spider camo drains you. Yeah, yeah I'm, like, I'm just trying to find a better one. Just black. <laughs> Blacking up. Like a ninja. Shouldn't need me, uh, me weapon if I'm going to do this stealth like. Oh, well, you can, you can, you might. It might be easy to tranquilize someone then try and sneak past them. Oh look. Already seen. Well, you haven't been, you haven't set off an alert yet. We, we should, we should. I guess it should yeah. be if you're going to alert state, you've yeah. really broken it. You could be sort of huh, spotted, but not like <laughs> spotted. <laughs> I love the terminology there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sound as well is like really just. It's iconic. Everybody that yeah, it's an iconic sound effect that's used in many other. Silly internet things for an instant you've been detected or an instant alarm sort of sound. Ness! Nice. Risky. Was that um, Tranko? Was that, did you shoot him in the head with a bullet there? I think that was a tranquilizer, Tranko. wasn't it? Right. So if you I hit him in the head, it's... they instantly fall? Mm -hmm. All the balls. Yeah, that was, that was the same Metal Gear Solid 2, if you remember. Yeah, so I've seen him shooting people in what I thought was the head a few times and they've turned round and then fell over. Probably just got him in the collar. Or the, yeah, I missed him or something. It's just me being a dick. Yeah, the uh, the sort of body collision detection on, on it is pretty good. It's pretty. You have to actually get him properly in the head for it to count as a headshot. Boom! Which, headshot! The, the shoulder won't do, you know what I mean? Has to be. Tis but a flesh wound! Yeah, well, technically, it's all flesh, isn't it? If that was reversed, that'd look really filthy. Mmm. Also, Snake needs to do his neck when he's doing his camo. <laughs> yeah. Visible, visible neckline. <laughs> That's a good point. 
Huh? Why is there a neck floating over there? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Can you see a neck? <laughs> yeah. It's probably... It spy neck? <laughs> I was gonna say, it's probably just a golden marmoset. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see if there's better Sorry, camel. Sorry, stole that joke from Future Armor. <laughs> there isn't really, is there? Still blocking it up. Yep. Right, I'm actually going to see where I'm supposed to go here. Play the game like I should play the game. Uh, so I believe there's like Grosdegrad South, Grosdegrad North, blah blah blah, but you're basically heading to the big factory type looking thing in the middle. So from this direction, you're generally heading north. <laughs> I believe there might be a door to the next area quite close to this bit where you are. He's gonna come back, isn't he? God, you're taking some risks here, Chris. I'm liking the balls out the approach. He's not taking that many risks, really. He's running there. I wouldn't have ran that close to a guard. <laughs> there you go, that's the door to the next section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you walk up to the doors slowly, he'll open them slowly, but if you run, he just decks him. Open up. Oh, you're right near it already. Um, I believe you want to be heading over to the, yeah, that to the sort of right hand side of the, of the, of the structure. Is it nearly there? Nearly, nearly to getting inside, yeah, I don't think it's that far away. You have to go right. Up. This is the sort of the front bit here. That you can see. There's still a you good. Have to um, go up and round. There's still a good chance I'll get caught though. Is, is, if little, this guy turns round, you're bummed. There's a little cavey thing like, to your right there. Oh, oh no, you can't get in it. Yeah, he's so gonna turn around. I would just trank him now. Good call. Even if someone finds him, they'll just wake him up. <laughs> Big dart in the back of his head. Wake up! You alright, mate? Yeah, yeah, fine. Just having a kip. <laughs> Look at it, it's sticking I just, out. I just stabbed myself with this tranquilizer in my head <laughs> so that I'd have a nice little nap. Oh, oops. Like you do? Ah, look, searchlight's over there as well. And I think if you try and take them out. Hang on, is that the door to the pad right there? I Can think you just so. get in there? If it is, you two just fleece me out of 10 quid, you bastards. I don't know, mate. <laughs> I can still get detected, yet. Yeah. yeah. Still plenty of opportunity. There's a guy right there, for example. I've not fleeced you out of 10 quid anyway. You're giving it to charity. And you've been, you're the one who's been going, no, that's a death, that's a death. That's definitely yeah, a death. Yeah. Yeah. True. It's fine. I can deal with it. I'm, I'm an adult. But you'll still whinge. Yeah. You can write a well. That's 10 quid I could be spending on two Starbucks. Something there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, ha -ha, I'm in! Oh! <laughs> well done. You just earned yourself 10 quid for charity. I remember that bit taking longer for some yeah, reason. Maybe so I. Around. That's, what, that's why I liked it. You can, you can go around in like, the other areas, but to strictly complete the mission, you don't need to. Right, what's that tapping noise? I don't know. It's not me. Tapping? I can't hear it. Are you are, are you on your laptop, Sam? Or are you, have you got it on your, your knee or something like that? Yeah. Maybe flapping around like it does. It's not at all. Sat still. Leaf, that'll do inside. Do you know what? I think I think your scientist camera might be might work in here. I said minus 55 there. Yeah, but it's not a camo thing. I think it might actually work as a scientist camo. <laughs> Black Stay kids. blacked up, though. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's probably not a good idea, is it? Professor of Ebonics. Ooh. 
Which one of you is doing that noise? It's not me, I can hear it. Um. Are you sure this is going to work? It's minus 25, surely... It would have seen you already. Yeah, good point. I think it depends on, you can only go in certain areas, like there are areas you need to go where the site, the, the uniform won't work. What you try to do here is get that Rykov guy that she showed you um, and get his uniform. Now, as you remember, any scientists that you encounter, they will spot you. So you could probably get your little cigarette thingy out, possibly, or just avoid <clears> them. <throat> I can't remember where Rykov is, he's sort of walking around, so he could be anywhere. But obviously he looks quite unique, so you should be able to spot him easily with his silly blonde hair. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm a scientist. Observe my spectacles. I think your motion detector is finally going to run out of battery as well. No, it's not. It's only got one. It's one bar, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've got three of them left. Mm, backpack. What am I doing? Food. That was it. White rumped vulture. No, it's not. Any anything that eats dead meat, like, like rotting us. meat, or rotting meat, should I say? Any carrion, carrion bird. Yeah, it's not going to taste good. Do you know that for a fact? Does do you know? Does vulture vulture meat taste sure, nice? I think I think any any carnivorous animals don't tend to taste that good. Hmm. What about, uh, uh, are quite a few, see, like, crustaceans, um, I don't know, actually, are crabs Fil carnivorous? Fil no, they're filler feeders. Hmm. Yeah, they eat shit instead, much better. Yeah, true. <laughs> and I'm, then I suppose I'm, crustaceans I'm, are different, it's, they're different ballpark altogether than mammals, yeah, aren't Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like scavengers are not very tasty. I think there's maybe some Bear Grylls wisdom that's popped up from somewhere. Or... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, because most meat that you think of as being nice is all... Yeah, they're all herbivores, aren't they? Well, apart from pigs, but pigs are fed mostly kind of yeah. grain and stuff. Yeah, I think the pigs that we eat are yeah, kind of kept on a mostly vegetarian diet, aren't they? Mm. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's it. You can't get into those areas until... Uh, oh, what is it? You need Rykov to get you in there or some shit, but I don't know where he is. Rykov, where are you? I've been around here, haven't I? Yeah, I went around there. Yeah. Hmm. You tried to look that first staircase? Yeah. Oh. oh, here we go. Go left, dick! Oh, there's, uh, there he is. There you go. So now it's to take a case of following him somewhere, He's having a good knocking him out. Him. You've got to get him. Ah, uh, yeah, go then. You, you, but you've got to get him um, into the lockers upstairs, so it's best to do it all upstairs. Yep. You remember where, which room I'm talking about? Well, you know nope. where you're going. When you get up the stairs, it's to your left at the top of the stairs as you are now. And I think you might be heading that direction anyway, so you might be able to follow him through the door and then get him once he's gone into the locker room. But there might be guards knocking around there as well, so... You could, I mean, you can do whatever you want with him. You can kill him if you want, um, or you can just knock him out and stick him in the locker. I think I'm being suspicious, or out. 
just, just yeah, follow him. Right, is it square or circle or what? To grab him? Are you are you wanting to grab him? Yeah. You don't need to grab him, you can just you just knock him out first. Like that that's not it. Yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Muff him up with them. Smoke him to death. Yeah, but when they're gonna guides come in, they're gonna wake him up again, aren't they? Yeah, I, I know that. I was trying to grab him, but it just went wrong. I'm gonna give up with that entirely. Oh, shit. Well, you don't need to interrogate him, so just knock him out and stick him in the locker. Can't do anything in the scientist outfit, can you? No, you can't fight. Scientist with reckless abandon. Take that, science! <laughs> Checkmate, atheists! I should offer to donate 10 quid towards Stealth Morphin. What happened there? Mission failed. Did they find him or something, or did he die? Ah, you know what? You know what? Maybe you're not supposed to kill him. I can't hear you, sorry. Say that again. You're obviously not supposed to kill him, he died, didn't he? I didn't <laughs> intend to kill him, I, I knocked him out. <laughs> you just kicked yeah, the shit out of him. It wasn't him. grenade went off or something, didn't it? This is an expensive episode, Chris. You do understand that. So hard. This might be the most expensive episode to date, in fact. For this game? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there were quite a few deaths in the first Metal Gear Solid 1 at the end. When you were fighting Metal Gear, you died quite a lot. Was it more than 10 No, times? not Metal Gear. It was... Uh, sn um... Liquid Snake. Metal Gear, I didn't die too many times, I don't think. Oh, remember, I did the first time round, but when I redid it, because we forgot to record or the recording went wrong, I did it quite quickly. Um, and you were saved scubbing on Metal Gear Solid 1, because it was on an emulator as well. Kind of saved scubbing, it wasn't full on. Saving at the different parts, yeah. Yeah, you were, you, were, you, were, you were checkpointing at bits that the game would have set you back. Like, each time you die in the Metal Gear fight, you start at the beginning, whereas you were starting at a certain point in the Metal Gear fight. So, mm -hmm. were, it was... It was safe coming to a, to a degree, yeah. 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 That's all in the past now. Yeah, you didn't have to tell everyone that again. I did, I did. <laughs> Important knowledge for, the, for our legions of fans to understand. No. Meep, meep. I like how that door side effect hasn't changed in the past like 50 years. <coughs> it's exactly the same for a locked door. Is that him on the left? Yep. <clears throat> yep. I don't think I can grab in the science uniform, that's probably what happened then. You just, just gas him with your cigarette thingy and then put him in a locker. It's pretty simple. Yeah, Chris. Fucking You're hell. making it more difficult than it needs to be. Stop dicking around and just do it, right? Well, now you've got to drag him all the way there, haven't you? So that was a good idea. <clears throat> so nobody sees you. 
I'm just conducting an experiment on this card. Yes, for science. <laughs> it's all for science. This neck smells interesting. I think you'll be coming down with some <laughs> kind of genetically modified flu. Just have a little pause, pause for effect there. I was pausing for looking around, dickhead. <laughs> Can hell, I can't even play the game like without <laughs> being a dick. Without you having a go at me. Fucking hell. You, you bet, you, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, Chris. You, you cannot win. You're not always going to be criticised and mocked. There you go. Get in. This, after this point, would probably be a good place to stop, wouldn't it? Once you've yeah. changed uniforms and onto the next section. Good place to stop. Except for that in one of these lockers, now there's only certain lockers you can open, there is another camo in there, which is your... The hell? It's like a... It's a basically your armour camo that reduces your damage by 25%, which is really good for boss fights. So, before you leave this area... Have a there's a ride and pressure in that... In that. In that locker. Was in well, what was his little solitude. thong doing? Because I'm sure uh, that wasn't a very 60s piece of mill. No. Uh, <laughs> like a leather thong. It's going to be here Have a while, guys. The... I'm not sure which locker it's in, but I'm sure it's in this area. Uh, you should be able to put on the Rykov uniform now as well. I'm alright in this for now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying you, you should have it in your inventory. And there should be a mask of him too. Hello. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. How odd. It's an actual MDS2 one as well. That's... That's... that's that's a time paradox, out. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? God, I bet it's, if it's not in here, I apologise. I just, just remember picking it up in, in one of these lockers. It's alright, I'd go through them all anyway, so... Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fortune favours an Aussie. It does. Ooh. Oh, just a Russian. God damn it. Uh, oh, no, it's a suppressor. Fucking hell. I was sure it was in here. Sorry. Where the hell is it then? Never mind. Mask. Fucking bandana. Yeah. Kind of a giveaway, innit? Take the bloody bandana off, you burk. So where you're going, actually, is back to where, where you just were. In that room with the lockers in it. Right. That's, that's the way to the next area. Oh, right. Yeah. You're going through there. Uh, I think you have to have the mask on, though, as well. You have to oh, be I've got a mask, have I? Yeah. Go to your face. Oh, there we go. Mask, mask right there. You know, or your armor. There that you is go. some mask. Yeah. That's some Mission Impossible type shit there. <laughs> uh, back the way you... Sorry, you've, you've gone past it again. It's in the... No, back. Back to where the lockers Mate, are. Mate, you're two seconds behind me saying back isn't going to help at all. Right, go to where the lockers are. Ooh. Fuck's sake. <laughs> well, there's a door in the corner of the room that you've just not seen. There you go. I could have went in all them other rooms, couldn't I? Does Chris need a biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> there's a shag or hod. Now, is there, a, is there a moment I can save now? As in, um, I'm not, I don't want the cut, the Volgin cutscene to kick off. 
which is probably down there, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be a cutscene as you go down there, I think. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I might be able to get in the room a little bit more, but... I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a... Aye, you're about to enter the big Vulcan punch-up bit. So, I mean, I've got half an hour yet, if you want to keep... if you want to try it. Uh, it, it we, you, you're just gonna be, we're just going to be watching a cutscene for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Saving the game, Snake? Yeah, uh, Volgin's about to beat, give Snake a beating that should kill him. It, it seriously beats the fuck out of him in about two minutes. <laughs> right, done. Well uh, done. I, need, I need some breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> ah, we need to go and sell a car, so. Right, thanks everyone for watching. We'll be back Thank next you. week with uh, our next part, which will be Volgin fight. And after the Volgin fight is... Snake, <sighs> Shut up, woman. It, it's not the Volgin fight, this is just the Volgin beating the shit out of Snake. The oh, well. Volgin fight's not actually for a bit yet. You've I'm, got to sure go that, the I'm sure that we so will have the Volgin it, yeah. fight next week, though. You know what I mean? Yes, we've ha we have to, because it's in. It's coming up. It's it's not far from this part that I stopped playing the game, so... Yeah, there is a bit, a bit yet. Yeah, there's a bit where you get tortured and you get you, you lose your eye and you have to go come back to Rogersley Grad. There's quite a big section before the whole right, fight. Okay. Ah, so that's what explains the eye patch then. Yeah, you lose your eye in this game in a bit. Ah. Well, yeah. big boss loses his eye. Yeah. Yeah. The, no, yeah, big boss, not the boss. Sorry. Right. Anyway, so thanks a lot, everyone, and we'll see you yep. next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.